Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome to Aquaporn. I'm in day 30 of my cycle on my 46 gallon marine build. Now, I was getting zero ammonia and zero nitrite as early as day 14. But I'm still not trusting that this tank is cycled. Uh, because my nitrates are still on the rise. So there is a cycle happening. But I'm still concentrating on the sump area and uh, getting the nitrates under control. And the reason I don't think it's cycled is because I have no signs of diatom or any other type of algae. Kind of just looks like the moon in there. So I don't want to get a cleanup crew or anything yet because there's nothing to clean up. So I'm going to just keep going with the cycle, keep working on the sump and ideas to reduce the nitrates. Nitrates rather. Now I was looking at algae scrubbers on YouTube and there's a ton of videos out there with uh, algae scrubbers but the majority of them were all big, bulky, relatively ugly, uh, wouldn't suit my needs because they require a different canister somewhere outside the whole stand and my whole idea is that it's got to be all self-contained in this entire area. And then I came across this one guy out there had a real simplistic design real simple it was uh, gravity fed however I don't think he gravity feeds it anymore but uh, it was a pretty inspirational video and got uh, the wheels turning got me uh, thinking about how I can incorporate his basic ideas into mine so big shout out to Oscar lover 131 He's got a great video, a great channel. He'll satisfy all your aquaporn needs. Uh, check him out. So basically, he's got the design and that got my head of thinking. And uh, I can do something with the canister filter that I'm gonna set up here. So basically I ran out to Michael's, got myself my plastic sheets, $1.27 for two of them. Super cheap. So this build, because I have all the parts laying around, is going to cost me $1.27. That's minus the lighting. I'm adding additional lighting to help. But basically I'm going to use the spray bar from my old canister filter that I'm going to be ho hooking in. And I'm going to use his idea and I'm going to just zip, uh, use the zip saw to get a groove where the holes are. So we'll get building that and I'll take you through it step by step um, from studying or from researching online for your plastic you want about one square inch for every gallon of water in your system so mine is going to be five inches by 12 inches and that is 60 inches square which is actually more than what my system is and then for pump for flow they're saying that you want 30 gallons an hour for every inch of groove in your bar. Now when I total that up that's going to be about 360 400 gallons per hour. Seems pretty fast to me plus my canister filter is not going to handle that. I measured it yesterday it's doing about 140 gallons in an hour and that flow is pretty high so let's just hope that that works out for me. So I'm going to take you through the build step by step. First thing to do was to zip out the groove in my spray bar. So I'll, I'll be right back after I do that and I'll show you where I'm at in the project. Okay everybody we're back with phase one of my do-it-yourself algae scrubber build completed. What I did Let's see if we can get a shot here. Okay, so what I did is I took my zip saw and I zipped out a groove on each side of these the spray bar. It was really easy because the holes made it really easy to line up. Then I took my plastic mesh from Michaels and I cut it to fit. Um, it actually is notched out on the sides and it goes up into the pipe slightly. So it they slide right in there. Uh, one thing I did is I separated the sheet into two sheets as you notice here. 
I did that because I want to be able to alternate my changes. So with the algae growing, I'll be able to snip the one zip tie here, pull this out, and leave this one with algae growing. And then clean this one off, slip it back in, and then the next week or the next couple of days or so, leave this one and change this one out. That way I won't have any nutrient swings while I'm waiting for algae to regenerate on the screen. I also did two plies instead of one on the sheet, uh, or on the screen rather. I'm just th my thought there is that it'll be offer available space for the algae to grow in between the sheets. That's why when I wipe them off, there's still algae in between. I don't have to uh, wait as long to regenerate new algae growth. So phase one is complete. It'll fit really nicely right in this area of my sump. It's gonna like kind of fix to the top here. As you can see, it'll hit the water level nicely. Um, I do expect some splash and some noise. So the second phase is I'm gonna build the hanger for this. Um, so I can hang it right to the ceiling of the, or right to, I guess it's a ceiling, of the stand, the underneath side of the stand. Plus uh, have some space to put a box around it just to reduce noise and to reduce any splashing I may get from this. I do anticipate that, but this is all just being shot from the hip, so kind of experimental. We'll see if it works. So I'm gonna get to going on building in the box, and uh, we'll be right back. And we're back. I ran into a little bit of technical difficulty in this build. I, my canister filter, it's a piece of junk was leaking I greased up the gasket and uh, stopped leaking for about 30 minutes and started leaking again took it apart put it back together took it apart put it back together uh, couldn't get it to stop leaking and now all of a sudden I can't even get the the pump to to run like sputters out it like wants to start but then it just cuts out and it's got a weird knocking sound so there's something up with the impeller that I gotta check out uh, also I was building an acrylic box because I thought there would be a lot of splash and noise and that ended up being a complete waste of time um, if the screen just breaks the surface I get no splash and no noise as opposed to a lot of the ones I've heard on YouTube uh, the only thing I'm getting is like some surface agitation and that's probably a good thing you know in the refugium area get a little agitation make sure that the surface is being agitated and so I won't get any like scum build up or anything so kinda happy with that and you'll hear that there's very little noise coming from it I mean the whole system itself makes some noise but uh, the screen itself isn't as loud as the ones I've heard so I temporarily have it set up on the MaxiJet 900 uh, actually has a lot better flow than my canister filter. Um, still don't think I have enough flow, but we'll see if uh, this is the option I have and we'll see if I can get some algae to grow. Let's see if I can get a shot. It's really bright in here. But let's see if I can get the, the flow to pick up. So it's flowing down the screen right now. I mean it's not super slow. but get some nice flow, uh, no splash, no noise, just some nice agitation of the water surface. Like I said, it's probably gonna be beneficial. So I'm gonna break, let this break in without light for 24 hours, and then uh, get it on an 18 hour on, six hour off cycle. Update you guys in about a month, see if I get any uh, algae growing here benefit would have been if I could get it on my canister filter I'm gonna put that in anyway kinda of was hoping to save electricity by having this come through the canister filter and not have to plug in an extra pump for it see if I can still work that out in the future but I'm just tired of dicking around with that canister filter man and so I just wanted to see this thing work and hooked it up to the MaxiJet 900 
which is a pump I need for for other things, for water changes and for mixing my mixing my salt water. So I'm gonna have to buy another pump, which was something I was hoping to avoid. But a great little build. Hopefully, uh, get some algae because it can't hurt to uh, have some extra nitrate removal here. Oh, the lighting. I didn't say what kind of lighting I'm using, just uh, to let everybody know. I just got two more uh, CFLs. Uh, the setups are out for outdoor lighting, so they're rubber, weather resistant, and uh, water resistant. So uh, those will work out well under here. I think the only thing I really have to worry about is humidity. So that's my algae scrubber. I'll update you guys in about a month. We'll see if it works. Thanks again to Oscar Lover 131 for the great inspiration on this build for me. And uh, we'll see you next time.